Well, hello, folks. It's been a long time since we've shown you the inside of our Mountain Dream home. The outside looks exactly the same, um, but we've done a lot of work on the inside. Come and see. different feel from what I had expected. We've slowed down and we're almost trying to savor the moments, if that makes any sense. We've, we've done a little bit less of documenting every single piece of the process and a lot more of just plugging along, um, doing these finishes and, and making it feel more and more like a home. Because I've been in YouTube hibernation, we have episodes 26 and 27. Uh, as a double feature. So you can watch them back to back as a little movie or you can separate them out uh, at your convenience. Enjoy! <laughs> so our drywall friends came and finished up. This is Dan. He's our neighbor. He has a company called Emerald Drywall here in Boise. How long have you been doing it, Dan? 22 years. 22 years. <laughs> That's fantastic, right? Yeah. So we called the right guy, right? They did a great job. We went with a mostly flat finish, but a little bit of hand texture to it. Um, it's called different things in different areas of the country, um, but it has just a little bit of texture to it. Not a, not a spray on texture, but little negative areas and just a little bit of a hand to it. Um, I like it. It's more like what we would have uh, come up with, but uh, it actually looks good. And we got all the paint on before we cleaned up after them. Uh, we put a PVA primer on it uh, just to seal the drywall and then um, a, a coat of color. Dad painted the walls and the dining room red. And he painted a bedroom green. Could you see the green? Yes, we can see the green. Okay. That deep red took two coats, but the, the green is really just one coat. And of course there's touch up to happen, um, you know, where it comes in contact with, with all the woodwork and stuff. It's, there's a little caulking, a little, a little smoothing out to happen, but I wanted to, uh, to um, get all the paper down and, and see what we had to deal with there. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Why do I have to say that? Because I'm unwrapping a present. She's unwrapping our specially oddly wrapped Christmas present. We also, um, as we were cleaning up, 
wipe down all of the timber frame and put another coat of oil on it. This really brightened it up, got it cleaner. There's a bit of solvent in the oil, so it really it got rid of you know all of the uh, all of the junk from us having a dirt floor in here and just all the work that had gone in, on in here. It really cleaned up the place and uh, helped out the, all that woodwork. So that's where we started to look at all of the the little corners where the drywall ducks behind and places where I didn't quite reach far enough with the brush and stuff, but. That's totally livable, and we'll deal with that later. Um, other finishes. It's a finishes kind of uh, uh, time for us. So all the railing came back in. I had taken it out to do the finish on it. It turned out pretty nice. It's a little irregular, and you can see some spots where I missed, you know, or where it's just a little different, and that's okay with me. Um, the whole reason why I went with a patina rather than just spray painting it or, you know, even having it powder coated, paint and all of that, those coatings, they just, it's just all one thing and it all looks plastic to me. So, um, it was such a, I don't know, it was such a cool living space that this is. I wanted it to, uh, just have a little more character than that. So. Do you think that staircase is going to get finished today? Yeah. Maybe. It's so close. Oh my gosh, honey. Look up there. I can't see it. The patina, it, it goes on uh, a little irregular. You're just using a spray bottle and it's this acid that makes the metal react in a certain way. Um, and of course, you know, with a weird shape like this, I, I tried my best to stand on my head and get the, you know, and be upside down and get it every little spot of it, but it just didn't, I, there's little spots that I missed. Um, but I like it. And then there's a light coat of boiled linseed oil over that. And, um, and I hit it with the torch to sort of bake the oil on there. Those oil, the oil on metal is really finicky. If you leave too much oil on there, it just stays gummy. And no matter how much you heat it up or rub it down, it's just going to be gummy forever. So it was a bit of a learning process for me. But I got to the point where I was really happy with the result. Um, and the oil finish, you know, it's, there's not much to it. It's not real shiny, not real showy. There's no maintenance to be done to it. I could always oil it again, I guess, if I felt like it needed it, but that's enough to keep, uh, keep the thing from rusting. Do you want to show me the upstairs? Sure. Who's there? This episode is a special double feature, so for a tour of the upstairs with the railing on, look for update number 27. Thanks for watching.